Hi guys and welcome to this iPhone development tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to take a look at tab bars or tab bar controllers. Now before we get started I wanted to point out two items. One is of course the version of Xcode that we're currently running. Uh, I've currently got version 4.3.2 and this is of course important only because uh, with um, as Xcode has changed, you know some of the templates that are available to you have changed. So it's just important to know the version that we're we're running. Um, we all, I also want to point out, of course, that the simulator is on screen and has an example of the application that we're going to be building. Now you'll notice that this is a simple looking application. It's got three tabs at the bottom, and when I click on each one of these tabs, it loads in a different view. And really, what it's doing is loading in a different view controller based on the tab that I'm clicking on. So that's the simple application that we're going to build. You could of course load, load anything you wanted into one of these view controllers. It could be a table view, it could be an image view, just whatever you like. So to get started, uh, let me just move the simulator off screen and start up a new project under Xcode. So we'll go File, New Project. And I guess we can also get rid of this. So let me do that and move this on to the center. And uh, once we've got this new project screen open, you'll notice that, of course, I'm under iOS and then application. And then I've got a bunch of different templates I can choose from. Tabbed application is the one that we want, so we're going to select that and hit next. On the next screen, it's going to ask us what we want to name the project. So let's just call this tab bar. And, of course, it's going to ask us, um, give us a few more options here. I've got the company identifier in there. Um, I'm going to leave the use storyboards option unchecked. I am going to lead, leave you use automatic reference counting or ARC check and of course I'm going to leave include unit tests unchecked. So I'm going to hit next. It's going to ask me where I'd like to save my project. I'm just going to save it on my desktop. Hit create. And here we go. So the project's been created. And let's take a quick look at what's available to us sort of as a default within this project. Um, so I am going to uh, real quick hide away my simulator it was right here on the screen so let's um, take a look at the files we've got here so you'll notice that we've got an app delegate uh, header and implementation file a first view controller header and implementation file we've got a couple image files and we've also got a second view controller header and implementation file again a set of uh, image files called second and second at 2x.png this is just for retina display um, applications. We've also got two view controllers. So let's just take a look at the first view controller.nib file and see what we've got in there. So you'll notice that the first view .nib, a controller .nib file is essentially just a view with a label on it and then it's got a text view and then what looks like a tab bar controller at the bottom but it's really not. Um, what this is is actually just a placeholder. So if I were to select the view itself and we were to look under the simulated metrics column or this option here you'll notice that the bottom bar is currently set to tab bar now this could most often is usually just set to none but because of the template that we've chosen Apple has given us sort of that basic uh, setup to where it includes the tab bar here so just to simulate when we're dragging uh, items onto the screen we know exactly where to place them so that they're not sort of overlapping uh, the tab bar itself now if we were to look at the second view controller.nib file you're going to notice a very similar setup. So, you know, you've got a label, the text view, and again, that sort of placeholder for the tab bar. So then the question is, where is the magic actually occurring? So where's all the code that generates the tab bar controller? So is it, uh, let's check and see if it's in the second view controller's implementation file. Well, not really. Um, most of the code here is... Um, you know, you've got empty methods that aren't really returning much. Uh, there is this one method which is in it with nib name colon bundle and you'll notice here there's a reference to a tab bar item dot image but other than that there's really nothing here if we were to look at the first view controllers implementation file you're gonna find the same exact thing so turns out all the magic is actually happening in the app delegate so if we were to look at the implementation file for the app delegate we're gonna find a method called application colon did finish launching with option uh, with options and here's where all of the work is actually being done so let's break this down just a little bit so you can see it a little bit clearer so I'm going to create some space here and then let's also create some space here right so what's happening in this method actually is the window is being created and it's being initialized then we're gonna we go ahead and create two view controllers which are then sort of uh, we allocate some memory for and initialize as well. 
Then we create the tab bar controller here and we allocate some memory for it and initialize it. And then we set the sort of set of view controllers for that tab bar to um, using this NS array uh, method called array with objects. And then here's where we just load in the two view controllers. So what we're doing is creating two view controller objects and then basically uh, uh, loading them up using this array for the tab bar controller. So what do we want to do to add one more view controller, one more tab to our application? So if you remember our application here, uh, let me see if I can load it up in the simulator, um, actually looks something like this. And in fact, I'll run it so you can see it. That's an old application that I had. Um, but I'm going to load this on screen so you can kind of see uh, exactly what you're going to get out of the box with this particular application. So here we go. So it's loading up and you'll notice that when you run this application out of the box with the code that Apple's given you, you actually get a lot of functionality. You basically get a tab bar application that's already working, but it has just two tabs. So it has a first tab and a second tab, each of which is of course loading that view controller we looked at just a few minutes ago. Um, so what we, if we wanted to add a third tab to this particular area. Here's what we would have to do. First, we would have to create a new view controller class. So let's just go to right click on our project and then go to new file. And we want to select under iOS Coco Touch and then select Objective C class and hit next. And then it's going to ask us for a name. And if you look, you know, we've got names like first view controller, second view controller. You can name this whatever you like, but I'm just going to go to go ahead and call it third view controller because that's sort of what it is. Um, we want to make sure it's selected as being this, a subclass of UI view controller. And of course, make sure that the with XIB or with NIP for user interface option is checked because we'll need that file. So we're going to hit next. It's going to ask us where to create these. Um, our standard directory is fine. So we're just going to hit create. And we now have this third view controller file. So you'll notice that it gave us a header, a implementation file, and a NIP file. So let's just be let's go and take a look at the nip file it's an empty view of course i'm going to go ahead and add a label just so we can actually see what's happening uh we'll i'm just going to type in some text i'll say this is a our third view controller and now that that's in place this will allow us to see of course um uh, this view controller instead of seeing a blank view we'll see some text here i'm also going to select this view and turn that bottom bars uh, tab bar option on so you can kind of see where this is all being lined up great so now what we need to do is jump back to the app delegates implementation file and just like we've imported the first view controller and the second view controller we actually want to import the third view controllers header file so we're just going to say import and let it fill in the third whoop third view controller that's it great so once we've got this imported we can actually now create a new UI view controller object so I'm just going to say create the third view controller and I'm going to say something like third view controller create a third view controller object you'll notice that these are all named first view controller second view controller so I might um, let's go ahead and just call this view controller 3 because that's what sort of following the pattern that these two objects were created with and then we're gonna do our it's a it's pretty much the same method as above we're gonna say third view controller we're gonna do an alloc on it and then we're gonna init with nib name once one more time so the NS string value of course is going to be third view controller this is basically just the name of the nib file that got created when we created that class a second ago and then the bundle is going to get set to nil so you'll notice that there's really no difference between what we've just done and what was done up ahead up earlier uh, the only difference of course is apple's using ui is directly calling ui view controller and calling uh, and then asking this view controller to be a subclass of UI view controller that's fine i could have done the exact same thing here as well um, the only difference is I can, since third view controller is already a subclass of UI view controller, it really doesn't matter. I can call it this way as well. Now you'll notice that there's a warning here, and this is simply because we haven't used view controller 3 just yet. So if I click on that, you'll see it says unused variable. And that's no problem because we're going to use it in just one second. So our next step is actually to add this new view controller to our 
uh, array here. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. We just come back down here and say view controller three, and then put in a comma to finish that up. Command S to save, and there you go. The error disappears. Now we we've, we've got one more step, or actually two more steps before we can wrap this up. Uh, let's jump to our second or first view controller, any one of these implementation files. And you'll notice that there's this method here that does a few little things. It sets, of course, the title to um, first, and then it sets a tab bar item dot image to a particular image that's already in our application. So you'll notice it's re referencing image name first, and that's just this image here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and copy this method do a command C and then I'm going to jump back to my third view controllers implementation file and I'm going to come here and just sort of overwrite or copy over this this particular method so what we've done here is simply replaced what that default method had with something that was already working from one of our other view controllers implementation files now we'll of course want to change this sum this one is set to first we want to change this to third so that makes a little bit more sense so let's just change this to third I could of course change this to really anything I wanted but I'm going to call it third. Then I also have to tell it which image do I want to use. So this is currently set to first. Well, I don't really have a third image just yet, and that's going to be our last step. I'm going to import some custom images to use as part of this application. But for now, I'm just going to leave this as first. So it looks like I had the application running in the background, so I'm going to go ahead and hit stop. And let's rebuild and run this application to see what we've got this time. And we'll see that it's compiling the NIP files and here we go it's about to start running this application so let me bring the simulator onto the screen and you'll notice this time instead of two tabs we actually have three tabs so you'll see first second view and here's our third view controller so there you go so that's pretty darn easy in terms of being able to add a third tab to our tab bar and let's do one last thing before we wrap things up. You'll notice that these icons are pretty generic looking. Let's import a few icons. So really what you need to do is um, just right click and if you've got icon files that, that you want to add, you can just say add files to tab bar and let's pull in, I've got a folder on my desktop that actually has some generic icons that I've purchased from a provider and I'm just going to select them all and say add. And of course I've got copy items into destinations group folder if needed that option is checked and we do want that to be checked this will copy it actually make a copy of the uh, files into this directory and you'll notice here's here are my files loop back redo and refresh so I'm just gonna jump through the different view controllers I'm gonna set this one to be loop back so it's a little bit nicer looking I'm gonna set this one to be redo and lapse but not least let's go to our third view controllers implementation file and set this to refresh. Great. And you'll notice, of course, we don't include the extension here. You just have to include the file name. So once that's done, I can do a command S to save. I'm going to stop the application from running. And I'm going to rerun it. So this time you can see that the different icons are in place. I'm going to bring the simulator on screen as it loads this up. And you'll notice that just like before, we have our three views, except this time we have nicer looking icons. So here's how you can actually create a tab bar controller or a tab bar based application very, very easily. As you can see, Apple actually gives us a ton of useful code right out of the box with this template. And it's pretty easy to modify it and load in really whatever view controller you want and like I said before each of these view controllers currently only has some text and a label but imagine you loading this in with anything an image view you could load in a table view you could load in sort of a navigation controller or a master detail type of application as well uh, I actually have a tutorial on that so if you're interested you can definitely take a look at that uh, but here we go so this is pretty simple pretty easy to implement and I hope this makes it easier for you to add tab bars uh, to your applications. Thanks for watching.